what I'm saying is, if you, if you look at this and if you're understanding what I'm saying, if you understand, not what I'm saying, if you understand God's message through Amos, what he's saying to his people when he sends the prophet in is to change and change now. Mm, for the good. Because it says, and listen to this, Isaiah 55, 6, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He won't always be available to be found. Now, you may not like that, but that's the truth. It says today is the day of salvation. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts as your fathers did at Meribah. God won't always be available. Um, in verse 11 of chapter 8 in Amos, I'm going to read this now. Pay attention to this, please. Make a note. Chapter 8, verse 11 and 12. Amos stands, inspired and moved by the Holy Spirit of God. He says, Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine for bread or thirst for water, but rather for hearing the words of the Lord. People will, listen to this now, people will stagger from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They will go to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. Here's the way God speaks. Through the, through the preaching of the word, mm -hmm. right. through prophecy, mm -hmm. through <clears throat> teachers who come and teach the word, yes. right, and through Bibles. That's how God speaks. Yeah. Now, His Spirit quickens that, but God speaks to us. It says that God has appointed in the church apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, right? God speaks through the preachers. Yeah. So Paul said, how will, they, you know, how will they believe if they haven't heard? How will they hear if it hasn't been preached, yeah. right? So they hear through preachers. They hear through prophets. Mm -hmm. They hear through teachers. Mm -hmm. And they, they can hear the voice of God by reading the Word. Yes. It's coming a time, God says, when there'll be a famine for the word. That doesn't mean that these things won't be there. Except, there will, like, remember we talked, I think, last week or the week before about the church at Laodicea. Yes. This is the final picture of a church here on this planet. Mm -hmm. And they are devoid of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. They think they have everything. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. They say, we're rich, we have need of nothing. God says, you're poor, you're wretched, you're naked. Too stupid to know it. Okay. So there will be preaching right up until the end mm -hmm. that is not the word. Mm -hmm. Is this true? Yes. Galatians 1 6. Write these down and check them out later. Galatians 1 6, Paul wrote, I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel. Mm -hmm. And he wrote to the Corinthians and said, for if one comes and preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or you receive a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which you have not accepted, you bear this beautifully. For such men, the preachers who come to do that, are false apostles, deceitful workers, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. No wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 11, right? So they'll be preaching that is not the word of God. False gospel. There will be prophecy that's not from God. There's a lot of that. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 24, talking about the last days, he said many false prophets will arise, arise and mislead many. So there will be prophets, but they won't be speaking the word of God. False prophets. Teachers not teaching the word. Paul talked to Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 and 4, talking about those perilous last days. He said, for the time will come when they will not, this is talking about people that call themselves Christians, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desire, and will turn away their ears from the truth, the truth, the word of God, and will turn aside to myths. Bibles. Now, a lot of people will disagree with me, but I'm going to tell you, and I will stand on this. There are Bibles being printed today that are not the Word of God. Amen. Absolutely not the Word of God. There has been such a change in, my, in, in the time that I've been saved. As I have watched, Bibles become less and less faithful mm -hmm. to the original translation or the original language of the Bible. 
So we get to a place, and I will say this, I'm going to zoom me in here, because I don't want you to misunderstand what I'm about to say, and I will stand on this. So you get to a place where you have a Bible widely used in many megachurches, widely used by many, probably tens or hundreds of thousands of Christians in the English language called the Message Bible. The Message Bible is not the Word of God. Now, I'm being as polite as I know how to be when I say that. It is not the Word of God. We did a Bible study, oh, I think maybe a year or two years ago, up in Dryden, New York, on the, on the Message Bible. And it's available on, this, on our website at BibleTalk.com. Go to, go to BibleTalk.com and go to Radio Free Bible Talk and search through there. You'll find it. You will find that there will be more and more translations that are called translations of the Bible that are not faithful to what God said. It's what they wish God would have said mm -hmm. or should have said. But it becomes arrogant and it's a mistranslation. So there will be preaching, there will be teaching, there will be prophets, there will be Bibles that none of them contain the Word of God. And there will be a famine for the Word of God. So you need to be aware of that and be prepared for these perilous last days. Taste and see that the Lord is good And His mercy is forever and ever Taste and see that the Lord is good His compassion never fails